Hey kittens, so today's an unboxing video and today I'm unboxing another indoor towel for myself because you know, I like having indoor towels which are, by the way, for me, towels that I don't wear outside, well, slash can, but they're more for just indoor wearing when I'm just sort of lounging about at home, watching Adventure Time or whatever. Anyway, today's towel is from Priceless Companions, an Etsy seller, and of course I'll be leaving you guys a link down below so you can check out their shop. Of course, unfortunately, since they are based in not England, I had to pay customs, as you can see. Y'all know how I feel about having to pay customs, but I think I can live because this is a fairly long tail, so this is going to be, which is another reason why it's mainly going to be an indoor tail, because it's very long, and I am very small, so I think this tail for me will be touching the floor. But, but, that, but, but, but. Let us open it and find out, shall we? Oh, ho, 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 it is all nicely wrapped in tissue paper. For some reason, he said tin foil. Don't know why. But, whew, it's so cute. And because of when I ordered it, we are taking uh, Halloween, they're adding Halloween goodie bags. But obviously, by the time this video goes up, it will be past Halloween because of my input schedule. But I think that's super cool. But we will have a look at that afterwards. My main interesting thing is the tail and it is super oh my god it is it is very long and super adorable it's quite thin as well which makes it quite a suitable like indoor tail sadly no squeaker unlike my other one but this is so cute and i was hoping there would be some ribbon to attach with but there isn't so you guys will have to bear with me while i find a way to attach it to myself so you can see all right you guys it has been attached and it is it's almost sort of you know, like almost raccoonish, kind of how long it is, but it's it is as long as it is. You can't quite see, but it does just touch the floor. It is well. The reason I have fake fur tails as indoor tails is because when I wear outdoor tails, I'm in it for the swing or for the cute curve I have with my wired tails. But obviously, you don't get as much swing with fake fur tails that I've personally found. It's just a personal preference of mine, which is why it's an indoor tail. But it is so super soft, super slinky, and I'm just like, yeah. Oh, it's super cute. I love it. Yeah, it is thin. It's thinner than I expected it to be, but I don't really know. Because everyone, every cat girl likes their tail thickness a bit different. I personally don't mind how thick or thin my tails are, as long as it's proportional to its length, if that makes sense. And I really like this one. It is so freaking long. I can just wrap it around like this. Anyway, let's go through the Halloween goodie bag. Because I love it when Etsy sellers do these little extra things. I've always find that like collar sellers or like ear sellers, or people who make stuff for furries like me, they always seem to add like a little extra goodie bag. And I think it's because they know that we just love all these cute little things. Oh my God, it's so cute. Now this is the business card, and the business card is freaking adorable. Look at their little mascot, that is just so freaking cute. And then on the back they've got all the social media links down below if you guys want to check that out. And, ooh, we have a little bag of Skittles. I love Skittles, yes. Candy is always just, yes, I like candy. And, we've got, oh. One scratch and smell sticker, which is so weird. It says on the side here. I'm gonna stick that on something. Don't know what yet though. And a mint, which almost looks like it would be glow in the dark, oddly enough. Is it glow in the dark? No. Well, could you imagine glow in the dark candy? Oh, actually, I don't think that's like doable for reasons. But whatever. I really quite like this towel. It's a shame I don't really have like matching ears for it. This is. My purple ears kind of match, but this is actually kind of similar to my other indoor tail, so I think those ears might match up pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me unbox this. If you guys have indoor tails, what's your indoor tail like? And do you have them thick, thin? Do you like to have a squeaker in yours? Because I quite enjoy having a squeaker in mine, and I'm sad I don't have a squeaker in this one. There wasn't an option to have one, so I was just like, what do you do? What can I do? <laughs> And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button. Join the family of kittens, morale, because yes, we're adorable. All my social media links are down below, so check that out if you like. And if you're subscribed to my Instagram, you'll have already seen a sneak peek of this video because you know we like to get a little meta on this channel. And the fluff in my mouth. I've seen a downside of uh, fake fur tails. you got to get 
then past the shedding phase because otherwise you know fluff and it's not fun and if you like please support me on my patreon just one dollar goes a long way and i appreciate it very very much and as always hope you guys enjoyed click the circular channel icon to subscribe to watch more videos click any of the videos down below see you in my next one